it's been shown that if a child develops sleep disorder breathing in the first five years of life, they are 60% more likely to require special needs education by age eight. And if a child snores by the age of eight, there's an 80% chance they will have a permanent 20% reduction in mental capacity. These are very chilling statistics about the potential fate of the children that you see and that I see. This is well known to you, but I like to bring it up to refresh some of the critical issues here about age and early intervention. And that is that 60% of the facial growth of a child is completed by age four and 70% by age five, which is why these statistics I showed you are particularly relevant and important to discuss with families. 90% of the growth by age 12. And the palatal suture, as you know, closes between age 12 and 14. Now, the concept that your child may outgrow these problems, which is commonly told to parents by pediatricians or other practitioners, it may be true that the child will outgrow large adenoids or large tonsils, which typically atrophy over the first 15, 18 years of life. But by then the damage is done because of these statistics of craniofacial growth. So if a child who's getting chronic strep throats, as an example, doesn't have surgical removal of the tonsils and is allowed to go through proper atrophy of the tonsils by, by late adolescence, the problem is during that time, the child probably has some sleep disorder breathing and had compromise of craniofacial growth, which now makes them a lifelong servant of nasal obstruction and the problems associated with it. And this is the important thing to impress upon parents, that the pediatrician is not telling them anything that's not true. However, it's completely out of context. And the context is that by that time, the damage is likely done.